Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we were currently working on this particular kingdom. Of course, we're a little close to the war score goal. This needs to come up by another, what, 13%? So we just need to wait roughly a year before we push too, too much further. Now, before we get too into that, I do want to come up to our capital over here and check to see if there are any constructions to do. And in fact, there are. We have some cash to spend, so I want to go ahead and do that. We may as well tick forward. Now, they may attack our forces. We'll see if they actually do or not. But uh, if they do, that's kind of okay. I also want to... Are we Living Legend? Yes, we are. But that's okay. I also want to start creating some of these Imperial titles now that we're on primogeniture. So that'll be absolutely great. We're going to work our way through these. We can make one roughly every two months. So that's perfect. And we are going to make two more. There we go. Beautiful. Lots more empires to make, for sure. And that's completely fine. So we are down to 86% here, and let's zoom back in on this war. You can see they're grouped up over here. Not sure entirely what they're planning on doing. We're down to 85%, though. And that's great. We definitely are waiting here. We are deliberately stalling this invasion at this moment so that we can take more. They're just kind of running around over here. That's fine. Four years on that siege, two years on this one. Cool. So that's just fine. We're down to 84, so they're at 41 now. Reminder, the reason we need to get to 51 is so that we are offsetting the battles won here. So we don't hit 100% from occupations. Now that we're at 84, can we get away with another cap? A lot of these are worth 15, so the answer is yes. We're going to move in and get ourselves another cap here. And then we're going to move out here. I want to check to see, is he leading any of these armies? Yes, he is. He is located in one of these armies. We don't want to capture him. That would be a bit disastrous, actually, if we captured him. So we're at 92% war score here. Okay. We can get 15% more. So this has to drop down to 84% before we cap anything else. That's fine. For now, we're just chilling. Which army is he part of? What is his name? Okay. He is part of this 586 stack. And we're just going to let them do what they want right now. For the moment. Oh, yeah, go take our territory, please. I would be I would be delighted if they took some of our territory right now. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say, I know, but I would. I would be really, really happy if they did that. We did just discover Renaissance Thought. That is excellent. So all we can fascinate now is promissory notes. That is the only thing that we're missing. So, cool. That's fine. Please, cap some of our territory. I'm begging you. Do it. You can do it. Come on. You can do it. No, don't go take back your territory. Cap our territory. Rude. Very rude. We're down to 88% war score here. 87. We're very close now. We don't want them to take this back. I think we're going to have to roll the dice here. I can't say I'm happy about this. Fingers crossed that we do not capture their leader here. There's a reason why I'm not bringing in a super powerful force to overwhelm them. However, at this time, we can move in over here. We 
We did not capture him. Okay, good. So we're going to move back over this way. We are now at 84%. They're at minus 51, which means that we are free at this point to siege all the things we want. And so we shall. Excellent. We need to siege everything here that is not contained within this dotted line. So all of these down here do not need to be sieged. Cool. So we're going to blitz our way through this very, very quickly. And the moment we take one of these things within the dotted line, the war ends. That's the idea here. So we're going to head down over this way. These guys are not sieging anything. We'll have them come slow siege over here. A lot of these sieges are not going to finish before these guys get there. That's okay. We do have a new stewardship perk available. We already have Avaricious. So let's go ahead and take Taxman. There we go. Excellent. We're 95% right now. It is not possible for us to get 100% war score at this moment. And that's good. That's what we want. Excellent. And this will continue to tick down. Don't worry about it. It's fine. That is entirely expected and is, in fact, the point. So we just need to get these sieges wrapped up here. We're going to start heading this direction with this force. Yeah, this needs to fall as well. Okay. So we're going to come in over here. These guys are going to head for this low-level fort as soon as they're done there. Which they will be very shortly. There we go. Off they go. That's already done. These guys, they're going to head off over this way. As soon as our main siege force arrives. Cool. Off they go. As I said, this will start falling very quickly. We do see 2,000 troops heading south. That's not really threatening to much of anyone. So that's okay. I think we'll actually merge these forces together. And we can fight this. That's not a problem. Okay, so we'll merge those together. Beautiful. How long on this siege? 16 months. Plenty of time. So we're going to come down over here. And free up these guys. They have made some progress here. Not a lot, but some. Four months, 22 months, three years, six months. Okay. Not too bad. We're 87% war score and dropping. This is ideal. This is exactly what we want. It's weird, but it's what we want. Okay, we need to free up this force because these guys are somewhat threatening. Now, the leader is in charge here. We don't want to capture him. I wish it was possible in Crusader Kings to give our troops orders on whether to take prisoners or not. If you have them set to not take prisoners, then, like, you build... Uh, you build dread, perhaps? And if you would have gotten a prisoner, then you just execute them immediately. That would be nice. However... We're going to send these guys up over here. They're going to chase down this force. If we capture him, we may immediately release him. That could be entertaining. I suppose that's an option, isn't it? You're not forced to do peace right away. Okay, so these guys are going to head up over here. They actually finished their siege. So these guys are going to come down and siege here. And we're just going to chase their force. I don't want them to siege. I also don't necessarily want to fight them. I just don't want them to do anything useful, <laughs> is what we really want here. Now, we did catch this force. Okay. And the reason that this would work in this war to immediately release him, but it doesn't work in Rebellions, is, of course, because we are, in, re in, in terms of independence factions, like this one here that's brewing, if this were to fire and then we were to capture this guy, he would instantly leave the war. That wouldn't happen to us in this particular situation that we're in right now, but uh, we should definitely 
get an alliance with this guy, and this is acceptable. How are we doing on children, anyway? Kind of mediocre, but that's because our concubine selection was, uh, not great. Okay. So that disbands the faction. We shouldn't have to deal with that. We're going to catch this force. If we capture their leader, we are instantly releasing him, is the plan. And we're going to walk in over here. They sieged this back. This is a hostile force. We're going to start slow sieging that. These guys are going to move in over this way as soon as our siege force arrives. Which will be now. They're going to take some attrition ticks there. That's okay. Four months here isn't too bad. Oh boy. There's a smallpox outbreak. Hmm. Should we just execute him? Put him out of his misery? <laughs> He's feeling fine. So, maybe we just negotiate his release. Hmm. We gain 40 stress because we're sadistic. You know what? Let's just execute him. Okay. Hopefully that will not allow the smallpox to spread. We'll see. More than one way to deal with an outbreak. <laughs> and it's over. Fantastic. One victim died and one survived. This guy died during the outbreak. This guy fell ill but recovered. Okay. So the smallpox is over. Perfect. It's not going to spread further. Now we're not going to hit this because that will immediately end the war. We're going to come up this way. We have a few more sieges to do. In fact, we're going to head up here because these guys have, well, that's 14 months. So we should actually end this. This is going to take a while to siege. Cool. Are these guys going to siege this? If so, we should have these guys be ready to respond to it. Okay, we're going to head in over here. These guys are probably just going to find somewhere where they can resupply to some degree. It's not great out here. Not great at all. But we're going to head on up over here next. And yes, they are indeed sieging this. This is a Merc Band. Okay, cool. No problem whatsoever there. Only a couple sieges left to take here. And then we'll get all of this territory. So that's great. This is going to be a big expansion of our African presence. Ah, okay. We're going to move over here, and we're going to move these guys up as well. And then we're going to move in over here. Now, it's looking like we're going to win this anyway. We don't need the reinforcements. We just have better troops. So that's fine. But we're going to move in over here anyway. We're, this is the last location outside of the dotted line. I'll double check that after we have this capped. But that is the going theory. Okay. We captured him. We released him. <laughs> okay. There we go. Problem solved. We don't want to have him. So, we are going to group these guys together for the time being. This is this should be the final siege. We probably would have had enough time to get what we wanted. Is my bet with him captured? But, let's see. Uh, yeah, this is allied territory down here, which we cannot take. So, we're just going to move in over here and end this. We probably didn't need to release him. So, that's okay. We're going to take over this fort. And that will end the war. So this council position needs to be taken. And yeah, we'll put in this powerful vassal for now. That'll be okay. War is over. Due to ticking. Beautiful. And we take all of this territory. Amazing. So we'll disband our army. 
And all of this needs to be handed out. So. Yeah, that war is invalid. First things first. We are actually going to give it to this guy. So, we need to take a look at the kingdom titles here. So, the kingdom of Ghana needs to be created. We'll create that. And that goes to this gentleman right here. The Khanate of Ghana goes with and everything underneath it. Beautiful. Okay. Next up. What other kingdoms are over here? This is the Kingdom of Mali. We cannot create that one. Okay. And then this up here is considered the Clan of Takrur, which we cannot usurp. Okay. And then this is the Khanate of Kabu, which is still held by this guy. He is our vassal. Okay, so he was vassalized. We'll go ahead and grant him these titles out over here. Um, yeah, this is all stuff. In fact, can we do this multiple? Yes. So we're going to grant him all of these. So he's at plus 100 opinion of us now, and we'll demand his conversion. We'll see if he accepts that. And then we're going to also grant vassals over to rightful lieges. He's already considering a proposal. Okay, we'll have to wait until after he gets back to us on the conversion question. He wants a wee cook. I accept. Okay. So we'll grant those on over as well, and that puts us at 18. We did expect that this would be one additional vassal, which I don't love, but it's okay, I guess. Now, additional locations to conquer, if we have time in a next life, might be Darfur. Actually, that would be a decent Nubian claim. That might not be bad carving in there. It's probably better than our options here. I mean, we have Seize All Dejure Lands, and that's something that we're definitely going to do eventually. I would like to create additional empires, but a higher priority is making sure that we have constructions going. And so we shall make sure that these are underway. And there are a couple more things to build here. Not that many. We are getting close to having that done. Hello, pause menu. Excellent. Okay, so there's those done. We're also going to make a few empires. Perfect. This is going to be a bunch of empires, of course. This will make us be de jure rulers over a lot of people. Which will help us pretty dramatically. So that'll be great. Okay, so next up, of course, we are looking for our Holy War. We could go after these guys. That's an awful option. Now, that was not terrible, but it's not great. Yeah, probably not these guys. No Holy War available here, probably because we don't have borders. I think that Darfur is probably going to be our best bet. And Nubia would be the one to go for. In fact, it's kind of our only option here. So we certainly could do that. And then we can focus for a while on cleaning up these areas over here. That's very doable. Of course, we've got like 10 years left. So there's that. I think we'll go ahead and declare on Darfur here. Let's go ahead and get that done. Beautiful. So we'll go ahead and put our rally point here. This is maybe a little bit greedy. How long until our men-at-arms raise? Only four months. So actually only three months. So I think that's okay. How many troops does this guy have available? Not many. Cool. 
So this is not an invasion, so we don't need to control the war score the way we did previously. That's completely fine. We'll get our troops raised up here. We probably should have raised up here instead, looking at where these actual baronies are. But it's okay. So we're going to raise up somewhere around 40,000 troops, I think, should be plenty. That'll be absolutely fine. There's half of them. And 40 days left on our men-at-arms. 30,000. And 40,000. Beautiful. So we're going to split off about 10k. And these guys are going to head in over here. We'd love for there to be a siege leader. So let's see. There was one. Excellent. That'll do. And then these guys will combine together once the men-at-arms arrive. Here in about 20 days. We got promissory notes, so we are now maxed on tech. And sure, we can have we can continue to have gardens. <laughs> That's fine. No problem whatsoever there. What episode number is this? 163. Or actually 164. The last one was 163. Okay. That's uh definitely interesting. I like to end on somewhat round numbers. <laughs> and uh maybe next episode will be the last one. We don't have very much longer. I think the technical end date is 1451. And we may go to 1451. We don't actually need to go to the Europa start date for this one. Because we're not planning on carrying this on. So that's okay. Of course, we can't go too deep here without taking major attrition. For the moment, we're going to split up over here for supply reasons. The supply is pretty decent down this way, but it's not perfect. Okay, and we're going to continue to take these locations. The question is, is he even going to fight us? I mean, he should. This is a huge, huge play against him. This is existential to Darfur. I mean, they're not going to cease existing from this war, but they're going to cease being relevant from the war. So there is an independence faction against us, and that's mostly this guy. We only have a courtier there. Do we have a son, perhaps? Well, he doesn't have a daughter available, but perhaps this guy does. Well, that's inauspicious. Okay. Can we negotiate with any of them? That's a negative. Okay. We're going to send this guy a gift. He's going to gain 17 opinion of us. That'll bring him up to 80 opinion. If he likes us that much and is still willing to declare independence, then I don't know what to say. We'll probably end up fighting this faction. <laughs> okay, so these supply limits are definitely not perfect. There's no doubt about it. This guy is now in charge. Again, there's not a lot that we can do about it. Other than send him a gift. So we'll just spread some money around. We'd also like to be out of this war by the time that rebellion sparks. So we'll just cruise on forward here as quickly as possible. We're already at 31% war score. This is going fairly well. So that's fine. Yes, we know we're taking attrition over here. So let's hop on in over here. Beautiful. And we're just going to continue to advance down this way. Uh, Nubia goes down to here. And then down like that. Sounds good. So lots of potential war score here. These duels will cease at once. I want to check in on timing. Wait, did they disband the faction? They disbanded the faction. Cool. Okay, so we don't need to worry about that for the moment. They must have decided they liked us enough. I like it. That is absolutely fantastic. We're at 40% war score. 
We're not going to have ticking until we have the whole location occupied. But we'll just continue to advance here. There's nothing they can do about this. We keep seeing this as well. Like, they're disbanding troops as we advance. Very strange. We're going to head down over here as soon as the siege is done, which will be momentarily. It is also time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, I think, maybe after we're done with this war. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and let's see how much this is looking like it's going to take, like how long it's going to be. There are three occupations right close together here. There's another three up here. I think we're just going to be able to squeak it out. We do get a new stewardship lifestyle perk. We'll go ahead and take meritocracy right now. Cool. And we're going to continue to advance over this way, of course. I don't want to take that attrition. So we'll just go like this. We're at 63% here. And this will start to get quite a lot higher. Never want to see that con's face again. Get out of here. What a jerk. Okay, we outlived our rival. Fantastic. And there we go. 77% war score. We're going to head on down. These guys are going to head up over here. I don't want them to head into Shamir just yet because they will take attrition. So each of these is getting us a pretty decent chunk. These three alone should be sufficient to end the war for us. So that's perfect. Hmm. Oh, he's up over here. Well, that's a little awkward. But okay. That does mean that we're going to have to take back this territory or win a battle. One or the other. Because he has 10% war score from that occupation. I didn't see them up there. That's my own fault. But yeah, they're, they're up there. So we're going to have to go through here. We're going to have to take attrition. It's not ideal, but we're going to head on up. And we're going to get these sieges as well. Beautiful. Okay. So we're going to get to 90% war score. We would have won if he hadn't have occupied that county. My own fault for not seeing him. But we are capped on occupation now. So we have to come fight this guy. This is absolutely a necessity at this moment. We're coming in from two directions here deliberately. He has slightly higher numbers than either of our armies, but together they should be able to handle this. Now we're actually going to park here. And we're going to buy some time for these guys to come around because they're not exactly... If I can select them. They're not exactly in position here. Now, he's actually making some strange movements here. In that case, we're going to come over this way. Our wife died. Okay, we should definitely marry someone else. And whoever's got the highest stewardship is what we want. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll make sure that that spouse is helping out with our managed domain. There we go. We are going to have to hand out one because she's slightly worse than our previous spouse at this. So we'll just grant this on out. No, not that one. This one. Grant to low noble. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. So these guys are going to move in over here. And they are going to attack this army. Now, we're a little late. But we're actually winning this. Even without our reinforcements. Shockingly. Against all odds. I didn't expect that. I expected this to require the reinforcements. Like, they're on mountains in defensive terrain. I don't. I, I don't even. <laughs> okay. Well, in we go. We're going to win this, and this will likely win the war for us, is the theory. Because this will probably be at least 10% war score. Yep. There we go. Beautiful. So that gets us all of Nubia. And like I said, it is past time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode, we'll get all of this handed on out. I already did the outro, so I will just say, see you all next time.